We're here at Barton Springs, and this is a pretty unique time because the water level in the pool is lowered for cleaning, and that allows us to see a little better water discharging from the Edwards Aquifer. So to determine how that water is making its way through the aquifer to discharge at Barton Springs, we've conducted ditrace studies. In the process of a ditrace, you have your injection, you have your data collection, and then you have your analysis. We have about a handful of different types of dye that are suitable for these purposes. They're non-toxic, but it does color the water pretty bright. We also use charcoal packets that are absorbing dye over many days or weeks to tell us is there very low concentrations that now can be seen in the dye packets. So from these traces, we've learned that water can move 18 miles from this particular cave to Barton Springs in less than three days. So with that knowledge, we have a better understanding of what might happen during drought as to how the water is making its way through the aquifer and what happens when we stop raining for some period of time or no recharges is taking place. But overall, it helps us manage the aquifer at the Barton Springs District. We're looking at how much water could be pumped from the aquifer during drought conditions without negatively affecting spring flow at Barton Springs.